Hello, I wanted to work on gameplay, but I don't have a mech generated yet. I need to build a mech in Blender. Uh, so we're going to work on optimization today a little bit. We're going to optimize our chunks so that they don't cause quite as much havoc when they generate. The core problem with our chunks generating is actually this create this calculate map from scratch. What happens is a whole bunch of chunks will, will pop into existence at once, and this isn't a coroutine, so it'll get calculated all at once. Uh, so all of them will just hang there on that function. Uh, I have the problem that my computer is a bit of a beast, so it's actually quite difficult for me to see the delays that this causes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this create visual mesh. This can go here in... We have to basically retrofit. We're going we're gonna to take this create visual mesh and we're going to turn calculate map from scratch into the coroutine instead. So... Where are you? Come on. There you are. There you go. So we've got this IE numerator that we need to do. So let's go ahead and do that. You are now an IE numerator. And we also need to do this yield return zero. So let's go back up here and put that here. But what we also want to do is we want to turn, turn this back into just an ordinary function. Because what we're going to do is we're going to call it here. So up here, we don't need to call that at all. We can just say start coroutine blah. All right, so let's go ahead and see whether or not that, that has any... Oh yeah, it has lots of errors. Oh, maybe they both need to be coroutines, because we are in fact calling that several times, yeah. Um, we, we call create visual mesh several times, so we're going to need to have them both be uh, coroutines, because visual mesh, visual mesh is recalculated whenever we change a brick around. There we go. And it doesn't work. So the question is, why didn't it work? And we have to look into the chunk and see what it has to say for itself. Switch it over to debug mode, and that will let us see... Oh, it doesn't have any way to represent the three-dimensional array. That's right. So what the problem probably is, is that the... Um, uh, the visual mesh is not being generated, but we do have the bricks. So to test that, let's go ahead and put in a debug.log created map and debug.log created visual mesh. Uh, it says it's created visual meshes, but obviously it is wrong because none of these have been properly created. Oh, of course, um, no, why would that happen? I can't imagine that this is the problem. Let's go ahead and try it out, though. Yeah, it was. All right, so if you call that without... Uh, I had thought we could just get away with ignoring the fact that it was an asynchronous function since we were already in an asynchronous thread, but I had thought wrong. So, as you can see, we're walking around, and any delay you see here is pretty much just my camera. I have a really hard time, uh, the, the, visu the video recording that is, I have a really hard time getting any delay out of this. Now, those of you uh, working at home will probably notice some delay. I do, I do feel some small amount of delay, um, but it's you know on the order of maybe 0.2 seconds. Uh, so the asynchronous, the problem with the asynchronicity is that it is not a background task. It chews up your processor, um, and therefore you still get these nasty delays with the frame, the frame rate dropping. So what we want to do is we want to make it so that the various uh, things we're creating, the various chunks we're creating, only create one at a time. And what that means is we actually want to queue up chunks. Now, normally I would use an event for this, and I'd have them sign up for the event, and then knock it off, but 
I'm just going to go ahead and use a list for this particular situation. So when we start, we say chunks waiting dot add this. And then we uh, uh, then what we need to do is we need to say um, if chunks waiting dot count equals one, or I guess it's probably a little bit better to say if chunks waiting zero equals this then go ahead and do that. So that means that basically we only calculate this when we are the first thing on the list. Of course that means that we'll only calculate the very first chunk because that's the only chunk that's ever going to be the first on the list because we add ourselves to the chunk and then we're the first on the list and all the other ones come behind us and we're not clearing ourselves out. So what we need to do is after we're done creating a map from scratch which we are down here we may need to yield to that start coroutine. I'm not entirely sure. We'll figure that out later. So when we do this, what we want to do is we want to remove ourselves from the list. So we say chunks waiting dot remove this, and now we're no longer the first on the list. So what do we do? We say If chunks waiting dot count zero uh, at count is greater than zero, then start coroutine chunks waiting dot uh, chunks waiting zero dot calculate map from scratch, and it is public, so that works fine. The only problem with this is that we may run into situations where the yield system uh, fires at awkward moments, and I think that's what we're seeing now. Um, well, we're definitely seeing it pop in much more gracefully. Well, I don't know. It's hard to tell because of the uh, um, the yield system. I actually, the problem with Unity is that their asynchronicity doesn't actually use proper thread control. Um, and so I have a hard time keeping track of what it's actually doing. For example, I don't know, we may want to put this here. No. All right, so here we here we are facing one of the problems I knew we were going to face. So now it's working correctly. The problem is that get byte only works once we have a map. So if a chunk has been created but hasn't had its map generated, then its neighbor might get might go first and its neighbor will say, "Hey chunk, you exist. So tell me what your map points are." And this chunk has to say, "I don't know. I I just I just don't know." But instead of saying, "I don't know," we're going to do it as if it was exactly like this. So when we do this get byte, um uh when we have the problem, it is uh, here, return map XYZ. What we actually need to do is, uh, if we don't have a map yet, then we need to return what we kind of think it's going to be in general. So we say, um, we can put this out here, it doesn't have to be up there. There we go. This can go, ah, there we go. Uh, so we get the world pause, and then we can say um, if map, uh, I guess we should probably just have an initialized, yeah, that's probably best, protected bool initialized equals false. And then down here in our calculate map from scratch, we say initialized equals, oh, I spelled it wrong, didn't I? Brilliant. And so down here in get byte, we say if not initialized, then return the theoretical byte. We don't know what our byte actually is because we haven't got a map yet, but we can return our theoretical byte. 
and that should take care of that error. Yep, there we go. That's how we want it to be. So is that what everyone wanted to see? That that uh, that nice uh, nice pattern. Now, if you are someone who understands programming at a pretty high level and haven't been lost by the basics of what I've been doing, then you can start to experiment uh, and learn exactly. You don't even have to experiment; just go read up on it how exactly the threading works in Unity, or rather not the threading, the, co the, uh, the asynchronicity works. Uh, I've done a lot of asynchronous coding in my life, but I generally don't use the, the system, the, the method they're using, so I'm not entirely sure uh, exactly how it works. And it may very well be that right now I've got it set up so that it calculates the map of the next chunk while simultaneously calculating the mesh of the previous chunk in which case you'd see a little bit more slowdown than you might want. Still, this was a pretty straightforward episode, and I hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, next episode, I'll probably do a little bit more optimization by, uh, by showing you how to uh, get rid of chunks we don't need anymore. Um, but uh, maybe I won't do that quite yet. Now, let's leave that for later. So I'll try and make a mesh, uh, you know, a, a, a model for my mech and maybe we'll do a little bit of gameplay. Don't know. We'll find out.